Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you had a great week so far and um, yeah, almost weekend. It's a, it's a good day today for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is relatively bullish. Uh, yesterday, we got some bullish momentum, perhaps because it's the end of the week. End of the week, usually after you have such a, a big bearish week, which, you know, we did have in the end. It was also caused by fundamentals, of course. But in the end, we also did have uh, somewhat of a bearish week. Usually that ends with a with a bit of bullish momentum. You can also, also see that historically, I mean, if you just take a look at the last couple of Fridays, Fridays are, are usually quite bullish as well. So, or at least we, we at least get a, a little bit of a bullish spike. Um, but apart from that, technically, we also had a bullish breakout above 25,250. And we got some uh, great news for Bitcoin specifically to talk about. Uh, so that's what we'll do in this video. We'll do a full overview, full update so that you know what to expect today and this weekend. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, before we start, though, before we start with Bitcoin, I do want to say that if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment, and there you'll find instructions on how to join and to make some profits with us while also becoming becoming a better trader. Um, but now onto Bitcoin. So the thing is, is that right now the the market, to be fair, is quite unstable. Um, we see that the dollar strength index is also like the dollar strength index this morning was still very bearish, uh, but we had a little bit of a candle close around nine o'clock and then we like, it's now looking like we're finding support, even though it does look like we're uh, a little bit more bearish overall. So that's bullish for Bitcoin, but Bitcoin itself, if you take a look at it right now, it's still, it still is bearish. I mean, especially if you, if you draw a trend line like this something like this, you can see that we are making lower highs and that right now we've also found resistance at around that 28 EMA. So technically we, we haven't really done anything. The thing that's working in our favor though, is that yesterday we got some bullish news, which we will get into. Um, and apart from that, that it's also Friday. And like I said, Friday is more likely to be bullish than bearish. It doesn't mean that it's, it's that it has to be bullish. But in the end, predicting the markets is a probabil probabilities game, right? So you'll have to turn the probabilities in your in, into your favor. Right now, if you take a look at the news, what we had yesterday is that BlackRock um, filed for an ETF on Bitcoin so that it actually becomes more available to, to inst institutional investors. That's basically what it means, which is obviously bullish. Did not react to that initially, but then we... I do think there was a little bit of manipulation as well because you, you can see these moves all of the sudden we were holding our levels but all of the sudden we got a lot of momentum towards the evening and um yeah just just these spikes are you know it's it, it, the big moves are always or almost always caused by by wills and, and institutional investor right investors right so that's something to keep in mind. But um, given that whole story and also given the story that Celsius, which most of you might still remember, the company, um, will swap their stablecoins for Bitcoin and Ethereum, which should in theory be bullish for Bitcoin and Ethereum in July. Those two things together lead me to believe that today I do like in line with all of the previous Fridays, I do think we can find more bullish momentum. So my my thoughts is that we'll get up to 26,000. I don't think we like that. Like there is a, a, a world in which I could see is going all the way up to 26,600. I just don't think it's the most likely scenario. I think it's more likely that we'll spike up to 26,000. And then when the weekend comes, the quiet weekends, then we'll just kind of stabilize, drop down towards 25,600 and 25,300. And because I think overall the direction in the market is still down and I do still expect in the in the near term or in the in, in the short term, I do still expect twenty four thousand dollar levels around that area. Um, but I'll keep you updated uh, un until then that bias can change for now. I'm fairly bullish on the short term, um, but that's my take on Bitcoin for now. So thank you for watching. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.